Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is little different from usual one. Recently, I have upgraded few kitchen utensils, so I want to share what I got and where I bought them. Lot of people find difficulty finding Indian cookware in UK, especially when they are away from major cities like London, Birmingham, Manchester or Leicester. So I am sharing an Indian store which is in London called Popat Stores, which has online order and delivery service. This store contains everything you need in kitchen, right from electrical appliances, cookware, pressure cookers, puja mandir, festival items, gifts and religious books, copper utensils, iron kadais and many more. I want to specially mention that this is not a sponsored video but sharing my personal shopping experience from this store. So let me show you what I got. But before I proceed, please support me by subscribing to my channel. Due to pandemic, we are trying to open the box in little quarantine room of our house. My husband is helping me here in taking out the stuff from the box. First impressions, the packaging was really well made and none of my items were broken. As you can see, they are individually wrapped. The first item which I'm unwrapping is a Thali plate. I always wanted to get these kind of plates in India during my vacation but I couldn't manage so I ordered these. I got two Thali plates this time. One is like a proper plate with little bowls inside and another one is the tiffin kind of thing, the tiffin plate. But this is actually the pav bhaji plate which I got. But I'll be using for tiffins as well because it's easy to serve chutney along with sambar. The quality is nice and it's kind of little light in weight. The cost for this plate is £2.25. The second one is also a thali. It has bowls missing in it. I need to open another package to find the bowls for this. This thali set is a six piece set. It consists of four small bowls, one small plate and a very big plate. It costed me around £6.35 for this set. And the main plate is little heavy compared to the Pau Bhaji plate. Even the bowls are very well made and they are perfectly deep for serving curries. So these are the bowls which are missing. So I'll arrange them on the plate. As you can see the complete thali set here. The next are the small stainless steel bowls. They costed 45p each so I got 3 of them. The other one is this coffee warmer. This looks super cute so I bought it. It costed around £4. As you can see there's a label at the bottom. The next two items are gas ring and cooker ring. The gas ring is kind of an extension ring which you can place it on the wider gas burners to place small utensils on top of it. And I also got the stainless steel ring to place it in the pressure cooker while steaming or you can also use normally while steaming. This costed me around 75 pence. This is the gas ring like I said earlier this is used for the small base utensils. It won't tip over if you place this. It costed me around 1 pound 20 pence. The next one is a bundi maker. I really like bundi like bundi raita or bundi laddu. So this time I wanted to make at home so I bought this perforated ladle. This one is nice and big. When I was ordering online I didn't know how big it's going to be. So this is nice and long as well with a nice grip of wooden handle. It costed me around £3.99. Next is a small ladle. I got this for serving curries. It costed me around £1. The next item is one of my favourites in this order. I was really looking forward to unpack this. It's an enamel wok or kadai. This kadai is really good for deep frying. This pan has nice deep and wide base at the bottom which is perfect for deep frying. The only downside is the handles. I thought they'll be covered with some heat resistant grips. 
I think I just need to be a little careful while holding the handles. But the best part is the price of this kadai. I think I remember the same brand kadai costed around 15 pounds in Amazon UK. But here it costed 3 pounds 99 pence. Moving on to next item. This is a modak mold. It's made up of plastic and it's in large size. It costed around 60 pence. The next one is a serving dish called handi. It's in small size. Actually, I got this one in white color, but a lady called from the store saying that it was out of stock and she was asking whether I would like in substitution or refund. Then I opted for this color. The cost for this handi is one pound 50 pence. This handi looks really nice in person and I'm also delighted with the customer service here. The next one is the chapati rolling board. My current rolling board, as you can see, it started to chip as it's made up of wood. So this time I didn't want it a wooden one again. As most of the wooden rolling boards online has negative reviews like insects or bug issues or the cracking issues. So I was looking for something different. Actually, I was looking for a stainless steel chapati rolling board, but couldn't find anything online. So I ordered this one. It's a plastic rolling board. To be honest, when I saw the picture online, I thought it would be very flimsy and will break easily. But to my surprise, it's quite heavy and it's very sturdy while rolling chapatis. Yes, I did give it a try and I really liked it. The height was also perfect while rolling the chapatis. I opted for a black color one as I can keep it away from turmeric stains as it's made up of plastic. The cost for this board is £4.99. The next one is a chapati rolling pin. This one is super cute with nice colors on the handles. I really like it. This rolling pin costs £3.99. The next one is a non-stick tawa and it's dishwasher safe as well. The tawa is nice and lightweight. Personally, I don't like very heavy pants. This one has got slight scratch on it, but that's okay. It's a very small one. And this is the back side of the pan. This tawa costs five pounds fifty pence. The next two items are festival related. Since Diwali is around the corner, I have ordered some diyas. Again, the packaging was really nicely made. These are decorated ones. The package consists of four decorated diyas and it cost two pounds fifty pence. The next one are plain diyas. This package consists of six diyas and it cost one pound fifty pence for the whole set. So these are the two sets which I got for this Diwali. So that's it for today's video guys. These are all the stuff which I got. I will leave the website link for the store as well as the address in the description box below. Do check it. And if you know any other Indian stores which offer similar kind of services, do let me know in the comment section below as it would be helpful for me as well as for others in future. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like today's video, please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also do let me know which one was your favorite from the stuff which I got in the comment section below. See you all in my next video. Until then, bye.